If the most telling scorecard of a US presidency is the economy, then President Joe Biden deserves high marks for his first 100 days. It's a small sample, of course, featuring data for just a couple of months, but measures of job growth and retail sales pointed to a booming economy in March. And analysts say that's likely just the beginning of a historically robust year. Much of the surge can be traced to growing COVID-19 vaccinations, with 40% of the population having received at least one shot, according to Goldman Sachs, a leveling off of virus cases, and the lifting of business restrictions in many states. And don't forget the nearly $4 trillion in Congress's COVID relief packages, including $1,800 per person in stimulus checks sent to most Americans through December. In other words, the economy was on track to bust out even before Biden moved into the White House. Just the economy reopening would go a long way toward healing the wounds, says Richard Moody, chief economist of Regions Financial. Yet under Biden, the vaccine rollout has been faster than expected at more than 3 million shots a day the past couple of weeks. Biden gets props for getting the vaccine process sped up, Moody says. He also spearheaded the latest $1.9 trillion COVID relief package, passed by Congress in March, that includes another round of $1,400 stimulus checks. The Treasury Department says it has disbursed 161 million of those payments totaling $379 billion. All told, Americans are flush with an additional $2.4 trillion that they've squirreled away during the outbreak and they're ready to spend much of it just as the economy is getting back on its feet. Put simply, the president helped put a strong recovery on steroids. We can give Biden credit for improving consumer and business confidence, says Bernard Baumol, chief economist of the Economic Outlook Group. There are still risks, including the possibility of COVID-19 spikes that outpace vaccinations. Another hindrance could be the supply chain delays, including chip shortages, that have hobbled manufacturers and undermined sales of cars, smartphones and other products. Biden himself may toss some cold water on the hot economy. Bloomberg reported late last week that the White House will propose a sharp hike in the capital gains tax to pay for his proposed social service programs, driving down a roaring Dow Jones industrial average by 321 points. But most economic gauges have pointed up during Biden's first 100 days. Here's a look. U. S. Employers added 460,000 jobs in February and 916,000 in March, cutting short what was supposed to be a dark winter for the economy after 306,000 job losses in December. Nearly half the gains were in leisure and hospitality, which was decimated by the health crisis and includes restaurants, bars and hotels. So far, the US has recovered 13.9 million, or 62%, of the 22.